Hi, I'm Andrea Chapman, the Program Director for the UBC CAP program. We have four distributed sites, so we have a huge breadth and depth of training. We have sites at um, Prince George in the north of BC, on Vancouver Island, in Victoria, in Surrey, in the Fraser District here, and in Vancouver. We have so much for you to choose from. We have strengths in pretty much every area of child psychiatry and supervisors that are, are more than willing to be part of your training. This is a really big learning center with a lot of expertise and I was really impressed by how approachable everybody was. Um, even though, you know, there's many big names here with a lot of research credentials, I never felt intimidated in approaching people to ask clinical questions or to seek out more informal mentorship or guidance. Our program offers the opportunity to really hone your diagnostic skills, your treatment skills, but we also know that psychiatry is so much more than that. It's also about the therapeutic relationships we form with our patients and their families. It's about developing the quality of our presence. And that's one of the things that we develop through our relationships with our supervisors and our mentors, and something I've been really lucky to have offered to me when I trained here at UBC and it's really a wonderful time with great people and I couldn't be more um, happy to have chosen BC to have chosen this program. We're situated in British Columbia which has an abundance of outdoor activities and we want our residents to enjoy all of them. I quickly fell in love with Vancouver, the mild winters, the amazing vegetarian food and the nature. Uh, it quickly began to feel like home. We believe that at this stage in your training, you know best what, what you want out of your residency. Doing the CAP program is one of the only times that you'll have to really devote um, you know, up to six months to do a special interest project. That'll be much harder to do later in your, in your training, so we want to give you those opportunities. Very often when the residents arrive and learn that there's a mandatory research scholarly activity component, they feel and express a lot of trepidation about that. Uh, but one of the things that I really like about this program is that we've been able to develop it such that uh, it's been an enjoyable activity for the trainees. So far people have had a lot of fun, I think, doing their projects. Overall, the first thing I try and do is provide support by pulling in local experts to provide seminars as needed. And then uh, the more interesting part is I will meet individually with the different residents and will brainstorm on a project that might be suited to them, which does not need to be a traditional uh, statistical research project and could take a lot of different forms. So really those are just a few examples of what we do to try and have it be a meaningful experience for our trainees. Our goal is really to support you in making good choices and um, understanding what options are available and being there to, to guide you through that. One of the things that I appreciate most about this program is the ability for me to tailor it around my learning needs. So I'm particularly interested in psychotherapy and advocacy and it was really clear from the beginning that the program was going to be responsive um, to these areas of interest. I got the opportunity to do lots of group psychotherapy training. I was able to get specialized in trauma-focused CBT in Baltimore and I also was able to participate in um, the formation of an advocacy committee that I now co-chair. Um, so I think that just speaks to the program's real encouragement of learners to follow their own passion. The program is really uh, dedicated to, to evolving to make sure that this works for, for you. And I think as part of that it kind of helped me kind of explore some of my own, my own interests. When I first came into the program, I was really interested in outpatient psychiatry. I saw myself as an outpatient psychiatrist. And then while I've been here, uh, they helped me explore uh, inpatient psychiatry. I fell in love with it. I really enjoyed it. Um, and as a result, uh, I ended up taking a job here in inpatient psychiatry. And um, everyone else in my era also ended up working at places where they trained. So I think it really shows uh, how much we like it here, how well supported we feel uh, during our time here, and how it makes us want to stay here and be a part of that program and contribute back to it. The CAP training program prepared me really well and I'm feeling confident in my practice and yet I'm also feeling supported to continue to learn more 
And my former supervisors, who are now my colleagues, continue to be able to offer me informal mentorship as well as clinical guidance. And so with our four distributed sites and our community-based electives, we have so much for you to choose from. We have strengths in pretty much every area of child psychiatry and supervisors that are, are more than willing to be part of your training. I really appreciate being the program director because I get to know each of the residents really well over the two years and I'm thankful and grateful of all the hard work that they do for children and families in British Columbia.